Left me, as you can tell, this recording is like one second in now. It's because the other recording stopped. So now I have to edit in. I have to edit the other part in to, to this one. But anyway, let's turn the camera on. Okay, it, it's fine. Is there anything you want me to talk? I want to talk about? Gosh, shake their head. Just every day, it's so hard. I just want to come to the club and I'll see fall silent again. I can't press her. Whoops. I can't press her, so I can only do what I know how to do. Start pressing return. All right. Well, I'll help clean this up and move the rush game on for you. Pick up all the two perfect girls. Let's set this one aside. This will help cheer you up a bit, okay? But if you, we can start get we can we can we can start we can get started on it once I'm done here. Asa looks up with her glossy eyes. Her lips quiver. You're you're really nice to me. Eh? That sounds really strange coming from the hospital. Oh yeah, you bet. I didn't expect it at all. Well, I'm just treating you like a friend, you know. Asuka lowers her head as simple as another sob. I'm not sure what happened to her today, but being nice is the least I can do. Last couple of hits are silent potatoes, so we get the other like this kind of bucks. Make sure to slip them in the box of the correct order. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's the correct order. I think it's a daughter, not order. Whoops. <laughs> correct order. After a little bit, Asuka starts helping. Here's the long before we're done, and I'll hoist the box on the shelf when Asuka wanted to put it. Then I get on the stool, quickly finish moving the rest of the bucks to the top of the shelf. Alright, I should do it. Hop off the stool. Oh my god, my eyes. I think I'm, I think I'm still tired, guys. Sorry. Nasi averts your gaze. Thanks. <laughs> it's nothing. Nasi's putting the volume instead of side in her hands. Alright, I'm ready. Good. It won't feel more than I make you anyway. Take responsibility for what you said. Think about turning me up if you, if you insist. I've seen the same spot as last time it opened the second volume. Nasi's moved quickly and proves laughing and pointing things out to me. She's probably... Sh she sh she... She's surprisingly sharp, making note of a lot of subtle, repeated jokes with background elements. And they end up pretty impressed with how everything ties together in this manga. Guess Nasuki has a good taste after all. After some time, Mos Mosky? I almost said Mosky. Monica gets her attention as usual and decides to share problems again. I guess they'll be holding on to this for now. Yeah, even if it's not more enthusiastic this time. Well, I'm starting to get into it, you know. <laughs> Told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I return to my seat and send the book into my bag. Should I show my front? No, actually, yeah. Noski. I, I click Noski! Oh, yeah, I, don't, I don't think it really matters, but whatever. Oh, I like this one. I forgot to breathe in my whoops. He has some nice feelings in it. Oh, I'm glad. Still, though, your tone makes it sound like you liked yesterday's poem better. Yeah, I guess you caught me. Sometimes you know me a little too well for my own, my own very own good. Uh, Really, don't just don't just try to be nice about it. If I'm doing a bad job, then I'd rather just hear it. No, no, I should like this one. I promise. You know, I wouldn't lie to you anyway. Never ever. Yeah, I guess so. What made just these poems so great compared to this one then? Uh, well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. That's why I just go to my heart. It just makes me feel things. It must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how that works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a very important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Ugh. Ugh. Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Well, you want to write something for me? So sweet. Yeah, right. We always think about other people. You think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Oof. Oh, yeah. That explains why. Whatever. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try and keep it in mind. Whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I kind of like something from the heteristic collection. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most. Sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, it's not going to help give the rain cloud a little hug. I don't know how, but uh, oh. my, my, my brain just blew. They make a nice, happy rainbow. Sorry, that's unexpectedly poetic. Eh, it is. Oh my god, it just. Fuck it, it just. I'm holding the phone with my left hand for now. We are getting better at expressing feelings after all. I'm clicking. I'm clicking my camera. Whoops. This is not going well. Thanks, anyone.
gonna write that down then. You can read my poem now. Bottles. That that explains a lot in the DLC mod, the Friday Night Pokemon I played. One of those songs was called Bottles. I get this now. I pop them off. I pop off my scalp like a lid of a cookie jar. It's a sneaker place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I read. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger, pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put in a bottle to keep it safe. I put my bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts of bottles all in a row. My collection makes me lots of. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle is starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Oh my god, this rhymes! Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets, hiding in a nooks and crannies. I think that's what that says. Digging and digging, sca scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my water cups. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. I have to shelf could use some more. My friends lock look through my locked front door. Finally all done, I open up and comes in my friends. They hurry in such a if and they come in such a hurry do they want my bottles that much, I frankly put them on the shelf one after the other. Opening them out to each and every friend each and every bottle where every time I let one go it shatters against the between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and the shards I love before they were supposed to be my friends, my friends who aren't so like we all shouting pleading something, but all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Oh my god, that that went so well, it rhymes so well, but the last part is the echo part I don't like. Holy crap. Sorry, did you really write this? Of course I did. Did I tell you yesterday was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, you probably kept that promise. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica talked to me a whole lot. i really been in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. That was kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. It's because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, oh, thanks. She blushed. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express my feelings. I think that's what that said. I'm not gonna bother. You know, it helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate. Passionate? 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 Is that... Passionate. I'm just gonna go with that. About this, huh? Hope you keep it up, too. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm probably gonna... Stop somewhere in the forty minute mark. Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. You do that. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Flag it off my arm. Sorry always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. <laughs> what if this is one of those times? I think the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to prove your stomach. This time we're gonna click Noski. Now she reads my poem. She keeps glancing at me in the back of the poem, but now she's supposed to read it more than once. <sighs> is that bad? No, no, it's not. It's good. You're the killer, okay? There, I said it. No, this wasn't supposed to happen at all, but can you just be bad at this? I was supposed to impress you, not the other way around. You're trying to impress me? Obviously, I think you'll let you enjoy reading. You, 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 you're writing more than mine? Give me a break. Well, in that case, what's the problem with me trying to impress you? I'll tell you, you... That's just face freezes like she just realized something. You, you're trying to impress me? That's the briefly scans her eyes over my poem over time. Then the poem slips out her hands and flushes the floor. I have to use the bathroom. Sure you do, Noski, sure you do. Sure you do. Red face, Noski quickly walks out of the room. Hey, you mind? Did you do something to Noski? I just saw her rush out like that. You didn't do anything terrible, did you? No, I just told her that my voice gets caught in my throat. <sighs> I think I think I, th I think I just did that too. There's no way I can tell Monica that I'm trying to impress Noski. Noski sees the poem like the first one, picks it up. She sits there, here, smile, not fading from her face. I see. You wrote this for Noski, didn't you? I mean, not really. In fact, in sh in fact didn't she like your poems a lot the other day too? So she know her taste so well already. Make sure you're not cheating in your life. Cheating? How can you cheat on a poem share? <laughs> How is that possible? What do you mean by that? Never mind. I'm just kidding. I don't understand Monica's joke at all. Anyway. How do you think Noski feels about you? Oh, you don't need to answer that. It was just something for you to think about. Hey! Noski goes up and snatches the palm out of Monica's hands. You know, once I notice her re-enter the classroom. Did you read this, Monica? Of course, I liked it. Ugh. She really stopped reading things that aren't for you, you know. You have a bad habit of doing that. Eh. But anyone wrote this poem, and we're supposed to share it with everyone, right? Ugh. Noski freezes. She apparently forgot that my poem was tentatively for everyone to read. You won't think anyone's done sharing this poem with everyone. It's not like anyone would want to read this anyway. In fact, I'm just going to hold this. If you insist. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Ugh, never mind. 
Alright, Oski, I'll give you the poem, but that's still not very fair to Yuri. She hasn't gotten to read it yet. So what? I guess even one is right now, Oski. It's not fair if you don't let anyone finish reading it. Fine. I'll see you return my poem. It's not like she's gonna like it, though. Anyway, read my poem now. No, I won't let you keep it. It's my only copy. Amy likes... A Amy likes spiders? I didn't know Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I heard my leg really bad, and Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, and her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always hear talking to people. She really likes about spiders. But if her friends start to like spiders too, that's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she gives her private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. It's it's gross. She's gross. The words better off without spider lovers. I'm gonna tell everyone. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's is way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. You know, that's pretty straightforward in this one. Why don't I have to explain it? Sometimes you explain complicated issues with much similar analogies. And most people realize that's too what they're being. Like anyone would agree that the subject of the poem is an idiotic jerk. Did you know do you know people like that? Of course the everyone thinks hey, that doesn't matter. If you do anything. Or it's be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Something like you're afraid of people find out they make fun of you or think less of you. That just makes people stupid. Who cares what what someone likes? As long as they're not hurting anyone makes them happy. Like people really need to learn the respect of this for liking weird things. Well you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. I'm sure a lot of other people can too. I'm speaking way too fucking fast. You know, not that you can appreciate this kind of writing. I mean, I know I was talking about that yesterday, but I've been, well, I've been enjoying sharing my writing with you, so. But consider yourself lucky, okay? <laughs> well, thanks for being honest. What's that supposed to mean? I'm always honest. Jeez. Just look forward to tomorrow, too, okay? Alright, I will. Now we got. I thought. Oh, right, because Monica. Because Monica already read it. Let's see what she's written for today. Hmm. Well done, Amy Mike. Your skills are already improving. Really? Thanks, Yuri. And for me, that means a lot. <laughs> huh? It's nothing. I'm just happy to help inspire fellow writers. I know you're new to this, so don't worry to so much who seems to keep your poem to feel perfect. You don't need to be afraid to be a little more darling. Metaphors can go a long way. I feel like you need to work your brain like tuning a bunch of gears. Gears, not gears, what I'm saying. Just letting your mind wander through your feelings and write down the things you see in here. It's one way to truly enable your reading. Reader, see in your mind. It's, a, it's really a limited exercise. I see, that's a silly and interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have um, one example that I feel like to read. Of course, isn't the poem you're up for today? Yuri nods to Emily Hansi in her poem. Again, no wonder why this. I know, no wonder why the raccoon song in FNF, the DLC mod, is called the raccoon. Because this poem is called it's the raccoon. I can't fucking read cursive. Yuri, you gotta stop reading. You gotta sit. It happened in the dead of night while slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the cutting of the raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies at, on my, as in holding wandering hut human. He had the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious will aware of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon is like, better always come back for more. The sudden beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my, the bread, my hunger, curiosity, the, hunt, the raccoon and urge. The moon incidents its face and reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. The same feels the way the very same light that glisters in the eyes of the raccoon friend. I slice the bread first and soft the raccoon becomes excited. Ah, uh, perhaps I'm really projecting my emotions on the red on the nearly satisfying animal. The raccoon is second to following me. You can say that we've begun to find use to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more friendly. So my bread is always more ready. More handy. Every time I br I British my, my cutting knife. The raccoon shows me excitement. A rush of blood. Classic. I, something conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Um. I was a little more darling to see. I was a little more daring to this one than yesterday's. I could see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this one is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Use the pause of canvas to express ver vivid imaginary. I'm bringing emotions through them. Yeah, but they got a face value that I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to their own way. I just want to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's just the sort of things I'm usually forced to keep myself. So sometimes I enjoy writing about them. Huh, it's funny. I didn't ask you to write something about that. 
Also, someone being ridiculously for a strange interest. Eh? She, she did? Yeah. She was talking about how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anybody. She, she's right. Eh, I mean, does she really feel that way? Yeah, sounds like you do have that in common. That's, well, that's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. This is my fault for judging, isn't it? Ah, please don't tell her I said that. Don't worry, I have no reason to. Okay, well, thank you for sharing it with me. So if I learned to embrace my own rudeness, I would probably hate myself. I might be rant ranting a little bit now. I'm glad that you're a good listener. Okay, everyone. I'm all done reading each other's poems, right? There's something extra planned today, so apparently they're coming to the center front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, can we have to do something for the festival? I don't think we can put together anything good in just a few days. We're just embarrassing ourselves so we're getting new members. That could, that's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well in the last minute preparations. I don't fucking care what it says. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. I isn't working on posters. I designed some pamphlets. We can give out during the event. Okay, that's great, you know, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. I'm not sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? Uh, Monica. Yeah, we're going to be a, a poetry performance. Sorry! He's supposed to go to choose a poem to recite during the event. The cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. So he's putting it all in the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sorry, he's going to like a poster holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding, Monica? You didn't You didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? <laughs> well, I did. Did you really think it's a bad idea? I don't know. It's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Zanowski. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagine it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys? No, Sayori. I understand what they're coming from. I wonder how big I can make my face cam. I try to pause what I'm doing. I understand what they're coming from. I wonder that Nasi here had never shared their poems with anyone just just a couple days ago. So I wonder how big I can make the face cam. Oh my god. I just I was just curious. I guess I kinda of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. But I still think we should give it our bet. And the only one's responsible for the fate of this club. So if they pay up each other go to performance, then we'll inspire others to do the same. What if we go for perform, the better we'll be able to show anyone that what literature is all about. Yeah, it's not expressing your feelings. You're being intimidating with yourself. Finding new horizons, having fun. That's right, it's not those reasons that we all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? And inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you in here in the first place? I know you do, I know we all do. It takes us, and it all it takes is attending in front of the room for two minutes for having a poem, I know you can do it. Now it's getting your roommate silent. Sayuri so looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayuri and Monica are really trying hard to get new members. At least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Looks like Nasuke doesn't have any arguments left. Eh. <sighs> okay, fine. I guess I'll just get over it. I just have to get it over with. I'm getting over it. Oh my god, I need to watch Sonic play that again. Oh my god, that's amazing. Alright. Phew, thanks, Nasuke. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly grins around everyone's else's expected faces. Uh, I guess I don't really have a choice. That's everyone, you're the best, Yuri. The club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. That'd be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of everyone. Ancient Eric. No way! Monica, this is too sudden. Oh, well, they can't recite your poem in front of the club. How do you expect to be in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll try to help everyone everyone's feeling more comfortable. Can I go next? Of course. Now, let's see. Why is the poster in notebook to the specific poem she has in her mind for herself? Then stands behind the podium. So this poem is the way they fly. And him. Monica is reciting her poem. Okay, 18 minutes. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is persistent. She's exactly to play emotion behind each line she bring, decides to bring the words to life. It's, it's, is this something she's done before? Is this simply like natural? That's around me. No one has their eyes on Monica. Sorry, looks amazed. She has a sense of expression on her face that I don't understand. Probably, Monica finishes the recitation. Or what's the vlog? Monica takes a breath and smiles. <laughs> that was so good, Monica. Uh, thank you very much. I was just hoping you set a good example. My right hand is getting tired. I don't want to hold it in my left hand either because, like, the camera's, you know, my fingers and shit's coming in the way. Are you ready to go, Sayori? I'll go next. Well, Yuri is fired up all of a sudden. Yuri glad to see the paper between her hands and stands up. Giving her head down, she walks quietly towards the pole. This poem is called Your Angel and God's the Angels. You can do it, Sayori. It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Is she talking? Is she talking about the portion of Markov, or Markive, or whatever the fuck it's called? With the after image, I get. 
Shaggy and Goku and all that shit. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting out so much effort? Yuri gets past the first level and her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the shit. Trapped in with a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in the structure that she debates with her timing. As we broke glimpse into the whirring of fire, Yuri keeps concealed in her head. Suddenly she finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri sets back into reality and clutches around as she debuted her ever herself. I mean, Time to me to save the situation. The first is turn to plotting. And when joins me afterwards, we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. I'm gonna save. Just in case. Oh my god, most these fucking safe files with Yuri, I swear. It's not like we didn't. We, it's like. It's not, it's not that we didn't want to apply for her, but we were caught off so guard that we must have forgotten. As we applied, Yuri holds up under her chest and rushes back in her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri's down for the cow. Total knockout! Okay, I guess I'm next, man. So you hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks up to the podium. This is what's called my minnow. Eh. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How'd you guys do it so easily? I tried not to think of it like you were studying to other people. Imagine you were studying to yourself like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your post, so I'll come out the best that way. I see, I see, okay then. Sir begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice has made us a perfect match. <laughs> The poem isn't aimlessly cheerly as Sayori is. It's sincere and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it comes from Sayori's voice almost gives me a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poem. It's like I get to read much deep. It's reach more deeply into some of someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes the blog. I did it! Good job, Sayori. Yeah, you would have been more like you liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? Came out nice as I heard. The atmosphere for poem fits you really nicely. But it might be the other poems that won't work. wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. And I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems that yours with the sort of gentle delivery won't work as well. They think they, they might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Well, I know what you mean. That's why I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just a brave thing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you the next time. Oh, well, we don't have much time for the rest, you know. I tried to burp, sorry. Okay. Now who's next? Oh my god! Yay! Noski? Hmm. That might be good before me, why? So I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let me run lower everyone stands a little more prior to it. Okay, I'm definitely sitting up. <whistles> Noski, it's fine, it's fine. Might as well get it over with. It's not like I have much selection of what to read. I just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up but step in front of the podium. If it has a rise on me, it makes me feel terribly awkward. I just have my phone. I'm not exactly going to my own writing. It's hard to put energy to it. But that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really good as anyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's also your abilities and... Ugh. The more you lack in confidence in your writing. That's something... That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Is someone walking over there? I think that might be the cat, actually. Oh, hi, kitty. Hi. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. This just leave, leaves you, Noski. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. That's a big... Berkeley gets out of her seat, makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you not looking at me? Because you're presenting. Hmm. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. No wonder why I got that right in the poem. Oh, oh hi, kitty. What you doing on my... Oh, there's another one. What you doing, kitty? It's burning already. I'm sorry, I just distracted my cats, okay? Anyway, now she takes breath. Once she starts her study of the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. But she's still a little enthusiastic, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's actually turned more style, which surprisingly well when spoken out loud. The, word, the words feel like they bounce up and down as they get applied to the poem. Now she finishes everyone's applause. She hops back in her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well, do you least feel fun to represent a poem in front of other people? Yeah, the thing in front of other people will be way easier. I don't want to replace I want from other people. Well, it's just my friends. Shut up. It's just my friends. It's just embarrassing. It's a surprise, Noski. Sorry, guys. It's a surprise, Noski. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about the festival. Hi, kitty. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you... Uh, uh, it, might, it might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. <laughs> oh, hi, other kitty. Make sure to pick a poem and get through enough practice for the festival, okay? When you make a pamphlet, let me know ahead of time. Will you 
Oh my god, there's another one. <laughs> this cage are cute. Jeez, I should probably find some other corner besides. They all love me, okay. They're all over me. There's so many. <laughs> you see this kid, bro? Aww. Okay. I should probably find some other Pokemon to reside instead. That's fine too, it doesn't have to be your own. My present the prize that you're putting it on this effort for the club. Makes you really happy. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay everyone, I think that's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. We're gonna really nice season so far, I'd like to continue that. So the festival will finish planning tomorrow, then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait, I can do this, I can do this. Alright. I stand up. Because now I'm able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayuri and Monica. I did my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club, I'm pretty impressing Monica. I was at my best. Where did it go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two. Always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make me such a big deal out of it, okay? Oh, it must be a little nice, though. Oh, my fucking little... <laughs> well, <laughs> how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, anyway. I don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. They really just love my blanket, don't they? Welcome to Sayori once more, even though it's only been a few days. A lot of things have already changed. But today, so it's been a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I was facing out. Ah, I wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I mean... Sorry, fumbles with her words. Let's just say that one day Namaski asked to welcome with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. I'm gonna save? Cause some choices you... Some choices you can't save. <laughs> Well, I would walk home with Noski. Walk home with Noski, huh? What the? What if she thought that'd make my heart pound? I mean, I think I'd be afraid of what she did to me if I turned her down. This is so cute and fun to be around. That has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it. Jeez, there's not even any point speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe, but I just like to think about it. I'm long for you won't need me anymore, you know. Need you? Sayori, I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. I think I know what she means. Maybe. Sorry. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody's in the club as a replacement for you. Hmm? I see, so. Conversation trails off. Not feeling left awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. If there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. Though I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival's only a few days away. Who knows what will happen at that time? Yeah, who knows? Alright. So, socks. Okay, that's Noski. See? Sayori. Great for Sayori, I learned. Vanilla. Okay. Lipstick. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm getting to Noski. Kitty. I'm curious in who Doki Doki is. That's Noski, apparently. That color. Fuck. Peaceful. Fuck. Fuck! I've got three in a row. Three Missouri, apparently. Cute. Ribbon. Who would be a Sayori, correct? Okay, no. RB. Party? Fuck. Jump. Lazy be Sayori, Kawaii would be a Noski, right? Pink. Okay. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, just walking to Where you being again? Yeah. <laughs> Must have a lot of determination to turn this club and I'm picking up Anna. We have a lot of determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it was for all of you. I'm super happy that y'all would help out for the festival, too. Oh, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Noski? Well, yeah, I'm not talking about the part, our part of the festival, but it's the whole day of school! Yeah. Voice crack! I love the voice crack! <laughs> when we get to play, you know, the kind of delicious food, you sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Aren't you, do they use like a fried squid? Oh, you can see my switch on in the background, or YouTube, whatever the fuck. Now, do they use like a fried squid? Squid? It's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Squid? Uh, just, ugh. I don't, I don't eat squid, like, ugh, it makes me want to puke when saying it. Oh, come on, you saying you don't like squid, you of all people? And I didn't say you would like it, besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because, it's right in your name, Monica. 
Eh? That's not how you know. That's not how you say my name at all. I was literally no sense of translation. Eh, never mind. This book is on the road to bed for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. You guys aren't as funny as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? Where's Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori said I got a desk before the room looking down at nothing. Walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. Let my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah. Eh, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Shari says like a big smile. I want to distract you from before everyone else. Oh, I got 30 minutes. Well, Alright, say so. We're really glad that Sari will return back towards everyone else. The conversation is already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I said that's not because she knows anything about Sari. Actually, you know what? I'm actually going to save. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to save here. I'm, I'm probably going to go back to that other option. But anyway. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna leave the video off here. So we guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey